What's crack? It's Healy X. It's Kevin here with the GG Free Show, and for today on Media Monday, I wanted to talk about an uh, article that was just posted on celiac.com just today, actually, about this uh, biotech company called Alvine Pharmaceuticals out of San Carlos, California. Uh, currently, they're doing a clinical trial called ALV003 on patients that were serologically um, proven to have celiac disease and then have been on a gluten free diet for one or more years. Now, they have 41 subjects. I don't know, you know, I mean, it's an odd number, so I'm not quite sure how they go ahead and split this up, but so half are treated with this, I believe it would be the ALV003. I'm not sure what kind of treatment it is yet. I don't think it's really been posted at all yet, but, uh, and then the other half is getting the placebo. So what they're giving each subject daily for six weeks is they're giving each subject two grams of breadcrumbs per day. Um, and I would not be a guinea pig. I wouldn't want to be on either end of this. Uh, but if anything, I would be trying out that ALV003, you know, anything to take away from the effects of the gluten. Um, so they're, you know, just kind of realizing that after the six weeks, it's substantially less in the, you know, subjects that are actually taking the treatment. But I don't know as far as like they haven't mentioned anything about side effects or anything like that. So no idea. This is something totally new. So obviously, we're going to be a ways off from any sort of actual you know, treatment. Who knows if this is actually going to help in the long term? There's so much speculation that goes on in these kind of medical fields that who knows how you know far out we could actually be. Um, I'm always skeptical on those kind of treatments, so I'm not really sure you know what to think at this point. But um, you know, maybe there's just a little bit of hope there. You know, I'm trying to stay optimistic about this. So really, I just want to um, you know quick hit this video out. I just want to hear what you guys think about you know how far we might may actually be from some sort of treatment for celiac disease. You know. Um, and Dr. Peter Green of Columbia University is one of the leading guys on all this. He was talking about how, you know, even after you start going on a gluten-free diet, like, it's, you know, the side effects aren't always, or the symptoms aren't always, you know, completely eliminated. Um, you know, you still feel a lot of them, and there's really no sort of therapy for celiac disease yet either. Like, I mean, so it's just one of those things, like, it's frustrating, you know, we try and do as good as we possibly can, eat as clean as we can, and still, you know, may not always be fully gluten free you know i mean there's just always ways to run into it and it sucks yeah, seriously i i don't know i mean i don't know what the last time when i've been on to eat is um last time i did i have no idea i i really can't even tell you um so i mean it just sucks but um i don't know so that's a little bit negative even though i'm trying to stay optimistic but you know we're all skeptical here so um yeah that's really everything for tonight so go check it out i'll just post a link right below and uh you guys can kind of just read it for yourself you know, tell me what you think and, you know, like I said, how far out we may be. So, all right, that's everything for tonight. Have a good night, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be taste testing the Enjoy Life Foods um, Crunchy Cookies. I'll be doing two boxes uh, tomorrow, and then I'll be two bo or doing two boxes uh, the following week as well. So, all right, sounds good. Have a good night.